guys, it's Gary from Screams and Thrills. We're back again for another update on the town row for the Hoppins. The opening day is arriving very, very soon. Friday, this fun fair opens, and we've been here every day so far bringing you updates. So, we're going to have a look, see if there's been any new rides pulled on, which we have heard from some sources that there has been some new rides up here and also more rides being set up as well so we'll head on down and have a look see what we can see right so we've decided to start this video from the bottom end so we've got food and drink outlets along here And then straight in front of us, we've got the top star and behind that air. Off to the side, if you remember in our last video, we had the, what we thought might have been another waltzer pulled on. Because it looked like a central part of a waltzer. It actually isn't, it's actually the gallopers. So we do actually have gallopers on on site now B Graham Gallopers we've got another traditional Gypsy Palmist and Clairvoyant pulled on site as well so that makes three at the moment that we can see so we're going to have a look at Sea Storm see if there's been any changes to that it's all lit up now so he's another look at the Traditional gallopers. And there's Sea Storm still partially set up, not fully set up yet. And off to the side here, in between Air and Top Star, we have what we found out to be Project X from Wilkinson's Fun Fairs. Pulled on, but it hasn't been set up just yet. And then off to the side here we have the Caterpillar Coaster which we've seen parked up for the last couple of days is now starting to be set up. Very similar to the one that we help with um, which is owned by William Cowie. This one, not too sure who owns this one but it's very similar. To be honest it looks a bit more newer possibly but it's a very very similar layout and we can see Apollo 13 here testing its clearance between rides ooh that's That's quite uh, quite close. So opposite Apollo 13 we have Freeman's Walter, nearly completed, seems to be missing a bit of its top sign though, wonder if they'll be putting that on or not, it's a lovely Walter, an old Walter this one, in fact this is actually the first Walter, believe it or not, I actually ever went on. And that was at the Hobbins last year. So it does hold a little bit of a bit of a sentimental value for me. And uh, next door to it is Dante's Insania. And 
And if I move around so you can see, Apollo 13's now got its back flash up. That's the little sweet stall that we've seen pulling on a couple of days ago. The pay box for Apollo 13 is beautiful. It's a very unique pay box. See if I can get the top in view for you. There we go. So yeah, they're just trying to figure out whether there'll be enough clearance when the Caterpillar ride's built up. And we've got a Kentucky Derby setting up. So the other ride that was folded up and is still folded up, which we weren't too sure about what it was, we've been informed is actually Mega Spin. A ride that we've seen quite a few times now, but we've never actually managed to get onto yet. So hopefully this ground will be the ground that we get on that. And then off to this side, in the middle between the side stalls and your more thrill rides, you've got your juveniles. So we've got some teacups, some jets, Looks like a little carousel, possibly. A mini wheel. And as you can see now, the Jamaica Extreme XXL now has its top lighting up. More food and drink. And then in between, ice, in between Vortex and the Caverian Grill, we've got Kickdown starting to get set up. And then there's the little pirate ship that we've seen. And the side stalls at the back there is from Waddington's. And then we've got another ride pulling on, which is Freeman's Rotor. So that's two rotors that's here now. Got some trampolines in the middle here. And then we've got Vortex and the beautiful Ice Jet. Fully set up now in the sense of its structure. Might still have some sound system lighting to install, possibly. Just by some loose cables that we can see. But the main structure itself is now fully built up. And it is one magnificent ride. Next to that, we've got Clark's Waltzer. The Waltzer that we've not actually done before, I don't think. We've got more side stalls to set up at the side here. And we've got some side stalls in the middle. So we've got Joker, Frogs, next to Clark's Waltzer, and then we've got a little food outlet, and then we've got Horns Pleasure Fairs, Pole Position Dodgems, that we've seen pull on yesterday, and it's now set up, complete with cars, Pretty much ready to go, I think that one is. It's a very similar style dodgems to Robinson's, which again is a very similar style dodgems to John Murphy's. And then another ride which we didn't know what it was, which pulled on, which we've been kindly informed is. Shaw's Fighter, another extreme style ride. Again, seen it a few times, but we've never actually experienced Shaw's Fighter, so we'll try and get onto that. We are planning on coming to the Hoppins pretty much 
hopefully every day apart from one day which we've already got booked in with um, something else then we've got Gallagher's Twist our little side stalls and then we've got Turner's they've started setting up their rides now Starting with the Audion Tagada Starting to be set up Next to it is Keith Turner and Sons Rolling Thunder Waltzer It's about halfway set up I would say at the moment Got the cars still to put on And the top sign Top board to put on So we're just going to have a quick look over this side Pretty much all side stalls now on this side And we've got Jack's Bingo And we've got a hooker duck We're about halfway down the current ground at the moment, so I'll stop and I'll just give you a bit of a an overview back down towards where we came, so you can have a quick look. And then we've got XXL and. Here we done is Starflyer. You can see off in the distance as well there. They're starting to put all the banners on top of them entrance portals that we showed you. So it looks like some more food and drinks outlets being set up down there as well. One thing there isn't a shortage of this year is side stalls. Still plenty, plenty of side stalls. And we've got another ride here pulled on, which looks to be a twister. So let's have a look, see if we can see whose twister this is. So this twister here is Alex Crow's twister can be quite an intense twister that one we've been on that before quite a intense ride and then we've got the Don Sapo Frogs set up which is by a showman called Mulhern and in the background you can just see Crow's Extreme testing which is a good sign it's a good sign to see rides starting to test so just another quick overview that's still just pretty much side stalls down this side and then next to Don Sapo Frogs we've got Crash Test And behind we have the new ride that's pulled on, the wonderful atmosphere. So we'll get a closer look at that as we go around. Then we've got Robinson's Tagada. Got some trampolines, spongy trampolines here. Another little teacups ride. Yeah. 
and then we've got another Walters setting up which is Robinson's Walter and it looks like we've got another ride here pulled on which is a booster I believe let's have a quick look yep so that's booster max pulled on site now so the second booster is here now we've been on that before and then we've got Dan Crow's Exciter so a lot of the rides now are new enough to set up most of them are ready to be tested if they're not already been testing and at the end here we've got Alan Crow's Dodgems being fully set up now complete with cars so we're now at the what was the central path last year it's now the end path and we've got the other entrance portal of the main road here and as I said in the previous updates this is your hospitality area as well so you've got your ambulance bay just in the background there you can just make it out and you've got your security huts down there and basically it's like site management and storage big open space here not too sure what might be going here if anything it might just be used for storage but as you can see the fencing is in place now emblazoned with the Hoppins logos and Crow's events and you've got your food and drink options on here big wheel all set up now this was one of the first structures I believe that was constructed on the Hoppins ground this year which is understandable with it being such a big structure one of the largest travelling big wheels and you've got a view down what's the central path which we'll have a little wonder down hopefully we don't get stuck this time behind loads of lorries like we did yesterday so we'll have a wonder down this way and then we'll wander back up the opposite side because there's more new things pulled on on the opposite side but we'll go down the central arterial route So you've got the Razzmatazz Walter to the side there. Another view of Booster Max. So as we walk down here, I do apologise for any noise disruptions. It's obviously where most of the generators are kept. All the rides. This is kind of like your behind the scenes kind of path. So we're gonna have a look around here. We've got a new ride pulled on, Super Bob, which you'll be able to see better from the opposite side. And we have atmosphere pulled on and set up again we'll get a better look at that from the other side because this is all the back end of the rides on this down this central path the front are on the opposite side so we'll get a better look at that from the other side just behind Crow's Extreme at the moment. Walk past the test. 
and you've got the Don Sapo frogs which is a different style of frogs than um, John Murphy's and Turner's as they have individual restraints on that one to the side here we've got the Helter Skelter setting up in fact I think that's fully set up we've got license to thrill got another view of Alex's twister and we've got Turner's license to thrill starting to level up there as well it's very similar to John Murphy's Bounce Nation in fact a little little unknown fact about both license to thrill and Bounce Nation they we were actually both at the same park, an amusement park called Flamingo World, I believe it was, or Flamingo Park. Um, one succeeded the other. So they're kind of a bit like sister rides, which is why they're very, very similar in design and very, very similar in shape. But yeah, a little unknown fact that not many people know that even I didn't know until recently we've got another little juvenile ride to the side there it's a little big open space here with some more food and drink options I wonder if this could be where Fee Street might be getting put I wonder we'll have a better look when we get over to that side so a bit further down we've got the the back end to Midnight Express which is a Matterhorn not been on that one so I'll be hoping to give that a try I like good Matt Horn we've got Gallagher's Twist Shaw's Fighter that was the ride that we've seen struggling to pull on which we weren't too sure what it was we later found out by a kind person who commented that it was Shaw's Fighter so thank you for that to the side here we've got the back end of Jamie Clark's Super Bowl we have been on that one before and it's an unusual sensation on that one but it's quite nice so again we've got most of the wagons parked up down this side and then we've got another twister which is Disco Twist so quite a few twisters off in the distance you can see Terence Reeves Magic Circus Funhouse and then we've got Danta's Wild Mouse unless you're really interested in the inner workings of these rides walking down this route is purely just a way of getting from one end to the other unless you're a truck enthusiast you can have a look at all the showman's trucks got something else pulled on there which I'm not too sure what that belongs to We've got William H. Clark's kick down being set up. So to the side here we've got Robinson's Sizzler, which looks like it's their new Sizzler that they got. So we'll have a better look from the other side. I believe it's a PWS Sizzler. So yeah, we've got Mega Spin not set up yet. So yeah, this is usually where we start our updates. Um, as you can see, because it's the main route for vehicles, the ground has been completely churned up. And 
this route down here start off as clear metal sheets now you can can't really distinguish it from metal sheets to a field it's just covered absolutely covered in mud so we are going back up the opposite side now next to the rotor and we've got the mini miami set up and we've also got another funhouse jumbo circus funhouse arrived on site and about 80 percent self i would say and then you've got miami trip three and we've got a better look at robinson's sizzler which i do believe that is their new sizzler by Reese Robinsons and Sons. That looks a nice. Yeah, it's their new Sizzler by PWS. Very nice. Right next door to their Dodgems. And on the opposite side, we've got the Runaway Mine Train, which we've seen pulled on before. And we've got Philip Cooper's ghost train set up now it looks a very basic ghost train at the moment but it's not fully set up the cars aren't out yet right next to the ice palace I have a feeling that that ride my zoom will work that ride that's in that little trailer there I think might be a cakewalk if you look at the mechanisms on the side and you imagine how a cakewalk works that to me would suggest a cakewalk I could be wrong so don't hold me to that that's what I think that might be time will tell and then we've got the side here Chadwick's Funhouse has finally been set up now believe it or not but that is built up around the wagon the wagon is actually the central part of that which is very unusual for a Funhouse Usually it's just a trailer, but it's a full wagon behind there. Which is very unusual. And then a bit further down here, we have Stanley Reeves Jr.'s reverse bungee, also known as a slingshot. So next to Stanley Reeves Jr.'s Bungie. We've got Terence Reeves Magic Circus, which is almost complete now, I would say. To be fair, a lot of these rides now are near enough set up, they've just, just got niggly little bits left to do. And then on the opposite side, we have Disco Twist, which I could be wrong, but I believe that's by Jamie Clark as well. And yet again, we've got more side stalls. And then over here, we've got Jamie Clark's Super Bowl being set up. Very unique piece of machinery. The central piece, theme and piece, which is the rugby style American football, actually covers that crane. That crane is actually underneath that central centrepiece. And then we've got, I don't recognise this from last time, which is lots of fun. 
slot machines modern day version of a fun fair slot machines so off to the side here we have midnight express more food outlets Another juvenile. And then we've got the slide that we've seen folded up. Sit up at this side. Let's have a little wonder over. Penalty shoot out. Lots more saloon type games, shooting games. Still some quite big empty spaces which you could easily fit another ride or two in. So I wonder if there's still more to come. Um, also don't forget as well there is still the main stage to set up as well. Another entrance portal. And right at the end there you've got the moose bar open for showmen and gaff lads and that's the other entrance portal to the side and you've got food outlets down the side i do apologize for the sun It is unfortunately at the very awkward angle so as we look down from that entrance portal and we look down you can see it's quite an open space <clears throat> so i'm wondering whether this will be the new central route so if you remember last year down the main central route on one side you had the big wheel on the other side you had the stage area i believe it was and food street wonder if it could be a similar kind of setup this year we've got another little mini miami setup at the side there more hooker ducks i've lost count of how many hooker ducks there is now i think nearly every showman has at least one hooker duck And you've got a darts game next to it. Score of a seven to win. Not as easy as they sound, speaking from experience. And you've got the license of thrill frogs in the back there. See, so it is a lot more compact than last year. It's supposed to be about 10% reduction from last year. Ground-wise, I would say it's more than that myself, personally, but I don't know the full maths, etc. to it all. So let's have a little look, see what else we can spot. So we've got a... Another runaway train behind there. We will come back down that section. So on this side we do seem to have mainly all more side stalls down this side and then so we have a new pull on which is Spooky Tower, Haunted House. We have been on something similar to this um, in Watford, um, which is basically a, a walk through haunted house rather than a ghost train, it's a walk through haunted house. They're not actually overly too bad, to be honest. There's something different 
for a fun fair. You don't see many around. This is the only the second one that we've seen. So it'll be interesting to see that getting built up. So we'll just have a little wonder down. See what else is down at the bottom here. So at this side here, we've got another runaway train. That's about three runaway trains now. And then we're coming to the the end of this side now. We've got a donut stand, which I'm sure there was another donut stand at the other end. We've got mini carousel there as well. Joe was right, that was a mini carousel that we've seen folded up yesterday. Pizza outlet. A little mini chair swing ride. Looks like another toy set type ride. And then over here off to the side we have the simulator. I really don't see fascination with simulators but they seem to be becoming more popular at fairs lately. Let's uh, have a quick look at that to see whether it shows you what it might be showing. No indication yet as to what that will be showing. A little up there at the pay cab. I can imagine it'll probably be a bit more than £4 per person though. And then here we have the end. We're at the end now of the Hobbins. And over here we've got all of the showmen's living quarters. Which I won't go down there. And I wonder whether they're going to be using this part here as parking, possibly. Last year you did come in from the very end, which I'm not too sure if we can see anything down there. So yeah, we did used to come in from that end right down at the bottom where we've been seeing the that cars going out is where we last year was the entrance for the cars and all this was car parking on this side the vast majority of this was car parking and for showman's wagons and you had all rides on that side but this year unfortunately it's all been closed off due to the ground conditions so yeah this is the the old central pathway so now we're going to have a quick wander down the opposite side to these juvenile rides. Get a better look at the likes of Razmurtaz and Super Bob and Atmosphere. <coughs> so we've got Booster Max's wagon trying to manoeuvre the ride into position. So down this side we have Rasmus has Walter fully set up now. Very nice looking Walter that. Getting a hold that we've not actually tried before. Uh, next to that we have Super Bob. 
believe this was the one that we went on last year at the Hoppins. I could be wrong. There's that many different types of super bobs that are called super bob. Personally, my favourite Super Bob is New York, New York. Um, be nice to know in the comments below if any of you have any particular favourite ride or particular favourite type of ride. Or if there is a type of ride such as like a Super Bob, what your favourite Super Bob style ride is. Ice Jet is one of my favourite Matterhorns. New York, New York is my favourite. Super Bob. Uh, next to it we've got Atmosphere. By Stanley Reeves Jr. Want to have a quick look at that? You've got plenty of options for food and drink. Not too sure, obviously, what any of the prices of any of the rides or any of the food and drinks outlets are going to be. I'd imagine they'll be fairly expensive. So here we've got Atmosphere, which looks like it's got this platform lowered at the moment. It's usually a lot higher than that, so it mustn't be fully set up yet. It's a lovely ride, Atmosphere. One of our favourite loop fighters. It's a shame Alex's new loop fighter isn't ready yet. Because we heard that that was supposed to be making its debut here. But in more recent times we found out that it's not actually ready at the moment. So, currently Atmosphere and Red Devil, I believe, are the only two loop fighters in the UK. Again, I could be wrong about that. If I am, please let me know below. But I've only ever been on Atmosphere. Haven't been on Red Devil. As with all fair rides, even though there's similar types of rides, so you've got all the different extremes, such as you've got Crow's Extreme, you've got Void, which is an extreme, you've got Shaw's Fighter, which is a type of extreme, you've got loads of different types, but you'll find that all of them are run ever so slightly different. So looking down, you've got Crow's Extreme next to atmosphere followed by runaway train followed by the helter skelter so yeah it looks like a lot of the rides now have pretty much arrived um a lot of them have already got set up as we've seen a lot some of the rides are starting to test um so yeah certainly not long now Friday the Hoppins opens we will be certainly trying to get along for opening day might not be necessarily at opening time but certainly will be hopefully on opening day um, I believe the Hoppins is open 1 till 11 I think so 1pm till 11pm so plenty of time so we'll certainly try and get down at least get on a couple of rides but like I say we hopefully plan on being able to get here quite a lot during the time that it's here um, there is only one day so far which we aren't able to attend which is this Saturday because we have commitments with a showman to help them pull their ride down um, so yeah we won't be able to come on Saturday, unfortunately. But so far, a lot of the other days, 
apart from the usual daytime commitments of school runs etc we've not really got much planned so we'll try and get down try and get a lot of on-ride and off-ride footage for you and we'll be putting them out onto our playlist if you've not noticed we've set up a playlist now for the hoppins 2024 so any videos will be going into that playlist so please share that playlist with your friends so it looks like booster max may be having a bit of a an issue with the part of the ground that they're being allocated they would appear to be a bit stuck Booster Max is actually smaller than Apollo 13, so it's a smaller booster. wagons as well this particular one is a high up truck and it's a truck that you don't, <coughs> you don't often see which is a left hand drive normally a lot of these trucks are right hand drive background there you can see Robinson's Walter starting to put their top side up so we have a side opening to Razmataz Walter here as well so we can have a bit of a closer close look there their cars very similar cars to Crow's Engine Storm So as we're heading back up to the car, we've noticed the Super Bowl oh, has all the cars in place. So that's ready for most of its theming to be put on now. So that wraps up today's update for the Town Moor Hoppins build up and pull on. It's pretty much not far off complete now. Still some big areas which are still open like I said I think there's still a few rides which are missing um, which they may appear there's still a couple of days left that they could pull on um, or that, they, that space could be used for something else such as like picnic areas or it could be an area used for the main stage um, because there is entertainment as well planned and kids entertainment i'll put them as always at the end of this uh, video so yeah if you've liked this video hit the like button consider subscribing if you haven't already and thank you for everyone who has subscribed and share with your friends any comments you may have put in the video below and if there's any information which you may have on any of the rides that you want to share with us please put them in the comments below or if you're on facebook we are on facebook as well and we're also on instagram and tiktok and um, so i'll put the links to our other social medias into the description as well please go over to them and take a look at those and like those pages and um, if you wish you may feel free to send us a message on facebook um if you've got any information about any of the rides that are currently on site or if even if you work on any of the rides that are on site or you know anybody who owns the rides or works on the rides and they wish to get in touch please feel free to pass our socials on to them um, we do work 
with a couple of showmen um so yeah it's always nice to to get that connection with showmen um it's always nice to be able to have a chat with them when we are walking around grounds so yeah it'd be nice to hear from any showmen that may be on site um as i say we will be attending the hoppins doing on-ride footage and also off-ride footage um so yeah keep an eye out for them povs and might not necessarily do a vlog every day um from the hoppins when it is open but we will try and do a couple of vlogs um if we get down for opening day we'll try and do at least a vlog for opening day and like i say we'll release on-ride and off-ride footage for each ride that we go on there may be some rides that we don't go on um but i'll still try and get some off-ride footage of them obviously juvenile rides we may not necessarily get much footage of them um as we are respectful that the juvenile rides we don't really tend to like filming um children without the parents permission um so yeah we might only have a quick overview of the juvenile rides um we will be taking our daughter with us um to the hoppins as well uh, while it's on so we will try and get some more fried footage of the guys that she goes on so yeah a lot coming up on the channel so it's a great time to subscribe and follow our other socials as well so yeah so i've been gary from screams and thrills and hopefully we will see you in a video possibly tomorrow <laughs>